Hi guys, it's Tana here from Winnie and Mini Photography. Thanks for purchasing my online editing video today. Today we're going to be editing this image of little Flynn here in the green moss and um, I really, really love this setup. It was really beautiful. It got so many likes on my pages, my social media pages. So let's edit it. Let's. I'll show you guys how I did it. So firstly, when I edit um, this kind of image with the wooden planks here, uh, I kind of like them to be a little bit straighter. So firstly, before I start cropping the image or anything, I'm going to warp it a little bit just to straighten out those planks. So first I'm going to go in with a new layer. So let's go Command J, new layer, and then go Edit, and then go to Perspective Warp. And now I can put these uh, two rectangles onto the image like this and they'll automatically join up, join up in the middle when they sense each other. Now when I hit warp, I can actually stretch out this image so that those planks are a little bit straighter. And when I do that, just pulling the top back a little bit, all it's doing is just changing and smoothing out that perspective a little bit. I'm not really warping baby as such, I'm just um, making an adjustment, almost like my camera was a little bit higher over the image, but um, you know, it's hard to it's hard to get the right angle of baby in camera and make your wood planks straight if that's what you're after. So this is a good way to do that. So now if I hit yep, it's gonna apply that in the new layer just like that okay so I'm going to flatten as I go with each adjustment that I make as well because I'm happy with my adjustments that I'm doing uh, I never really need to go back so starting with a new layer now I can crop my image to where I like to go I like to crop 40 by 30 inches and I'm going to center him whoopsie whoa 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 I'm going to center him in the image just like this and yep <clears throat> now I can stretch out this image a little bit as well just to chop off I don't want to when I'm cropping I don't want to chop off any of the image at the top all I just like to do is just take those sides off I don't want to really adjust the size of the image as far as um, chopping off too many pixels so what I like to do to reposition my uh, main subject in the image itself is create a new layer and then hitting Command T I can now stretch the pixels rather than chopping them off. So if I hold down the shift button on a Mac I can lift and just stretch him out onto where I want to be in the image. Um, Alternative, alternatively, instead of hitting shift, you can click this little paperclip looking thing and it'll just hold the image rather than warping when you drag out the sides. Okay, I'm going to hit yep and I'm happy with that. I'm going to flatten there. Now this moss wreath, uh, I'm going to just round it off a little bit using my liquify tool. So I'm going to go a new layer, command J, and then up to filter and then liquify. And then that is going to bring up, I hope this is recording in the box. Okay, let me just bring this down a bit. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see this liquify, but hopefully if I put it there. All right, so I'm going to go liquify with a quite a big brush. <clears throat> That's about a 1200 size brush here and my pressure is 100% density is at 50. I'm just going to round off these edges a little bit just to sort of make that snug look. Even here where there's a little bit too much fluff on that bit. I just, I really like neatness more. If there's a circle, make it a circle in my opinion, I guess. Um, especially with images like this when you're standing over the baby the perspective sometimes of, of the wreath or the nest or circle whatever you're working with sometimes you get a bulky end that looks a bit thicker than the other side so 
But I like to just sort of neaten all that up a little bit so that we're, you know, baby looks centered in the prop itself. Uh, just a little bit up here, I think, just around a little bit. I think that looks a bit neater. Okay, I'm going to hit all right, and then we're back here. So that's before and after. He just looks a bit more neater in the image. I'm going to flatten that now. Um, okay, now, I, this, I, when I'm editing, I like to tackle firstly what is distracting me the most and then work on to the next thing that is distracting me. In this image right now, this plank here on the left-hand side is distracting me majorly. So I'm going to just bring it back down a little bit with a curves layer. So I'm just going to hit curves and that creates its own layer there anyway. And then with the curves uh, line here, I can just somewhere in the middle, just bring it down a little bit like that. That's just working with those mid-tones. I can now invert that layer. So command I and then with a brush, that's about that size. I can just paint it onto that actual plank itself. And from there, if I need to, I can also bring it back down even more. I kind of like it there. So that looks a bit more um, how it should be. You know, it's a little bit more even. That one plank isn't standing out too much. All right, I'm going to flatten the image there. The shadows here on this side are a little bit dark for me. So I'm going to do another curves layer, but work a little bit with the darker tones down here and just lift them a little bit like that and then command I is going to invert that layer and I'm going to paint that onto the dark areas here that I don't really like so it's just balancing out the shadows you don't want any uh, uh, spots in the image that are really bright or really dark you want it to be um, all about the subject in the image or the baby in this image now I know there's going to be some spots and flakes and fluff in this image when I zoom in. So I'm going to fix that up straight away. I'm going to come in quite a bit here and just working on little areas here with a spot healing brush, um, which is up here, spot healing, make sure you're on spot healing brush and just zipping around and fixing any bits of fluff or distracting elements in the image, little bits of skin that stand out too much like that. He's pretty perfect. He doesn't really have any pimples or anything. I always tend to leave a little bit of um, skin on their hands and feet because I don't want their feet looking plastic or anything like that. So baby, new babies have flaky skin, so you know I tend to leave it a little bit, not too much. If it's going to be distracting, then I take it off. But um, yeah, just working around here, trying to get off any bits of fluff that are standing out. Anything that really bothers me. See, like that little hair there bothers me. Um, another one there. Any little white specks on the ground from a props with a blue speck. There's always going to be something on the prop or. Uh, on the back, at backdrop or whatever you're working with. When you're working with babies and you've got all these fluffy layers, everything tends to get covered in fluff. So uh, just going to whiz a little bit more in his hand, just fractionally there. All right, that's, that's good for that. All right, I'm going to flatten that layer. Uh, okay, so now he looks, he's pretty perfect. All I'm going to adjust now is a little bit of the color tones here. The greens in the leaves, I think they're beautiful, but I, I really like the um, the greens to have a bit more pop to them and just really look healthy and uh, like I've just picked them from the garden kind of thing. So I'm going to hit a hue saturation layer here and I'm going to click this little hand thing with the arrows next to it, which gives me the eyedropper tool. And now if I just select a part of the image that has greens in it um, and now when I slide my slider to the right a little bit it's just going to make those greens a little bit more um, blue blue green instead of yellow green and maybe a little bit more saturation because I like saturation okay so I think about there looks pretty cool it's nice and vibrant I really like that instead of okay so that's before 
and that's after it's just got a little bit more pop but that's now applied that green like any green that was in the backdrop as well it's changed that green as well so all I really want to do is kind of paint this onto my wreath so I'm going to hit command I which is going to invert that and then I'm just going to paint it onto those green leaves so because these leaves are so um, like uh, you know there's jagged edges it's it's not too um, you don't have to be too fussy with it and because it's it's natural foliage anyway it's it doesn't matter if it's not 100% perfect if I hit the, um, the button under the delete button on a Mac keyboard I'm not sure what you call it maybe it's a backslash button yeah um, you can see where you've painted that on so you can see where it's red is where it's not painted on uh, so I'm just going to go around his head a little bit here like that so you can see it's not on his face and it's not on that backdrop it's only on the bulk of the greens there and if I press that same button again it goes away so now it's only just applied that just to the wreath all right I'm going to flatten that image now I like to add a vibrant pop to all my images and I kind of think that's a bit of my signature style the vibrant pop all right so I'm going to go command J and I'm going to change that layer mode to soft light and it goes crazy like that but when you bring it back down to zero and then just slowly creep it up a little bit a little bit you can see it just brings in vibrance and also contrast as well I really like how what it does to images like that all right I'm going to flatten that and I think I'm going to also just lift on the side of his face there fractionally. It's a little bit dark for me. So I'm going to just make another curved layer and lift around the middle there. So just to a point where you're happy with how that looks on the side of his face. Don't worry about the rest of the image because we're going to paint it on just to where we need it. So Command I inverts it. And now with that soft white brush, I can just paint it on exactly where I need it. Just like that and flatten that and now I might just even add a vibrance layer just because I really like vibrance whoops not two just one's good and let's just lift vibrance up and now he has that glowy look to him he's not too um, orangey or anything he just looks beautiful and healthy um, okay so now let's do a sharpening adjustment just to his lashes and his little lips and maybe his toes there so let's go command J and then up to filter and down to sharpen and unsharp mask so now when we find him let's go to his face um, usually when you open this without making adjustments I think it opens at 50% but I'm going to bring that up a little bit let's go you don't want to make him look too crunchy. So let's go to 91% at 2 pixels. And we're going to hit OK. So that's going to apply that sharpening to the whole image. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to create a mask and invert it. And now I'm just going to paint that sharpening adjustment just onto his eyelashes. And lips. And his little toes there. And maybe his fingers. I don't really like applying it to the whole image because it kind of makes, especially natural stuff, it makes it look a bit crunchy like you can see like that. I like all that to just be soft. I really just want the focus to be his eyelashes and his, his little features there because that's the main focus in this image. So, Alright, flatten that and I think I'm happy there. That's really beautiful.